Hi guys, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 tutorial and in this video we are going to learn that how we can implement the one to one relationship and what is that. Alright, so first of all I am going to show you the points that we are going to cover through this video. So first of all uh, we will learn that what is the relationship in the Laravel then we will uh, learn that what is the one to one relationship. After that we have to make a model for company and when we we need to make a model for user and we will write the code for uh, relate to the two tables and after that we will check the output and two things i already made to save the time one is the controller and another is the router and if you are not uh, familiar with, with the, uh, the both router and controller then you can watch our previous video link is given in the description box so now let's start with the first question what is the relationship so So relationships are basically the functions that can fetch the data from two or from the more tables on the behalf of relative IDs. So let's understand it with some practical things. So let's say I have the two, um, I'm going to use the both table also for the program. So now let's uh, understand it with the theoretically. So let's say I have the two table, one for the user and another for the company. So the user ID is present inside the company tables all right so if i want to fetch the data from this company on the behalf of this id i can easily do it because this id is present here all right so relation with what uh, what actually relation will do relation will fetch the data of this table in the behalf of this table this table's id all right and you can uh, if you are uh, still confused then you can imagine that uh, that they are similar to the joins inside the database all right okay so now let's move to the one to one relationship so relationships are many types like one to one one to many many to one and many to many so there's a lots of uh, relationship so what is the one to one relationships that we are going to uh, understand in this video so which is when when your one id uh, inside one table is related to the only uh, one uh, ID to the another company so let's say one user is related to the only one company in this case we use the one to one relationship all right so if one user is related to the many company that this is the one to many relationship all right so uh, I think you covered the both of things and if you still have any kind of confusion then don't worry in this program you will capture all the things very easily all right so first of all let's make the two model okay so i'm just going to open the command prompt clear it and going to write here php artisan make model user all right after making the user i need to make the one more component which is uh, model for the company so I'm just going to simply write here model CMP. Okay, so let's check the both of model where they exist now. So you can just simply check them inside the app folder. CMP is here and user is also here. All right, so now let's go for the number, move to the another point. So the four points are covered. Now we have to write the code for. Uh, make the relationships okay so before start starting with the code let's take some uh, overview from the database okay so what actually want to do i want to fetch the uh, anil sidhu's company's data okay so this is the id of anil sidhu is one and here uh, google and usa is related to the one id that means if i want to fetch the id from fetch the company from anil sidhu this row will become out okay so which is the google and usa because this is related to the id one and anil sidhu's id is one here okay understand okay so for that what i have to uh, do for that in the relationship how we can i fetch the data for that let's first of all just uh, go inside the users uh, model and just write a simple function here Let's write here function my company 
all right so in this company uh, uh by company i'm just going to return this has one which is the laravel function which will find the one company related to the uh, id to the current user okay so here i'm just going to write here app the path of the company model c m p all right so with that this is able to easily able to fetch the company's detail of anil siddhu okay with the behalf of id so now what i have to do after that i need to use it inside any controller okay so i am now going going to open my controller which is present inside the http user okay so if i just open the uh, url here user now you can see that code will be here okay i already made a route for it here you can see that and controller for it okay so let's open the controller here okay and now just write here simply return and i need to import the user component user model also use app user okay so after that just write here user find the id of anil siddhu is 1 so i am just going to write here 1 and just close it okay this is also ready now now here you can see that this is my company table and this is not actually uh, auto understand by the laravel so i just have to write here table name okay so just write here a uh, protected dollar table and table name is simply company okay now everything is ready so we just import this component inside the uh, import this model inside the user model and now we import this one inside my controller okay and return this so it should be return the data so now let's see now you can see that we got the data from this table okay so let's see yep actually one more thing this is the just uh, get the data from user table not from this table because we did not call this method yet so for that what i actually need to do so just write here dollar my company i just made the function name is my company so just call it directly here now let's see now you can see that the user id is 1 one. one user id is related to the anil siddhu which passed from here and the id is 1 to 2 and google and usa so this is able to get the data from here so let's say i want to fetch the data of the daniel okay so for that i just pass the id second here and check that now you can see that 101 samsung usa and id is 2 he's fetching the data from here because this is the one to one relationship that's why this is not fetch the second columns data it will just find the one data here all right so now maybe you understand that uh, maybe you are confused with one point that i did not uh, tell him that the uh, just fetch the user id and id here okay because laravel is already smart enough to understand that if he is fetching the user table id then it should be the user id here okay that's why it is we don't need to put here so let's say if your user id is not there then it's it's maybe like a user id not user underscore id then what you have to do put for that for so then you can put here three columns then you can just simply write here user id okay and third one is the id which is the uh, that one column okay so if they are something different then you can simply put the something else so let's fetch with the same thing let's is it this method is working or not if i just put it down 
then it should be the result same now you can see that the result is same it accepts the three parameters one for the uh, model name second for the foreign key foreign key is that one okay if that uh, this is the any other name then you can put that one and third one is a local key okay so let's say your is the company underscore id then you can put here company underscore id okay so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video bye bye in the next video we will understand that one to many relationships